guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my art journal page, or my art journal um, book. And I'm also here with those bits that I recently got from Taperology. So I've got my vellum butterflies here. Oops, don't want that flower. Vellum butterflies. And then I have got my, now I'm pulling this up, these little bits, which are called, hmm, right, don't know how you pronounce this. Yaden notebooks or Yaden notebooks. I don't know how you pronounce that, but that is this item. So those are the main things that I'm kind of thinking I'm going to be using. So let's just quickly move back to the side now. So yeah, I've got these. Now these are all those little kind of square pieces of ephemera, which, you know, I obviously showed in my unboxing. Love the look of all of these. So I'm just going to take a few of these little bits hopefully all different ones i mean they're not all different if you see what i mean you know you get x amount of each one i think you get five of each one so you get lots of them um but i'm going to just take a handful of different ones to stick down onto here so let's just do oops Uh, I don't think I want any really with any colours. I'm, I'm trying to be a bit colourless here on the background. I don't think I'm going to be colourless in the foreground, but yeah, just in the background at least. We'll see. We'll see how I get on. So I've got a few, a few colourless ones here. And there is a sheet music there as well. So yeah, a few colourless ones. Now, obviously, these are all kind of squares, so um, I can just either tear these down or leave them as squares. So let's pop those back into the box. <clears throat> okay. Right, now, going to glue these down. Um, I don't know, if I'm honest, whether I want to do them... Oops going to end up with these butterflies keep on flopping onto here so sorry about this move these to the side a bit let's just kind of arrange these around and see do we want these like very ordered you know like in in squares in lines or is that really boring it's probably a bit boring isn't it in which case do we want to kind of like clutter them up more like this Oops, might need to get a couple more actually. So yeah, let's get a couple more out. So I might have to just go for a couple of the same ones again. <clears throat> okay. Mm, yeah. And that one. Right, okay, so I've got plenty now. And we're just going to like layer these into the background. So I'm going to just glue these on. And then I'm going to probably gesso over the entire thing. So we're going to get them all just glued down first. Like that. Like that. just thinking you know I don't want it to look too uniformy how we've done it so maybe that one you know so that I don't have it all you know too much kind of samey samey so something like that I'm thinking you know just roughly something like that so yeah let's pop these down <clears throat> This one. Okay. Then these ones here. This 
one. Quite like this one where it's quite white. I mean, admittedly, by the time I finish this, you probably won't even be able to see what's what, if I'm truthful. So it probably really doesn't matter what's where. <clears throat> I just, you know, I just want to just fill in, fill in some stuff, just some random stuff in the background. So, yeah. You know, it doesn't really matter which order or anything else, does it? Like that. Oops, I forgot to put this one down. <clears throat> yeah and then this one here okay right I don't know whether I need this one, so I might just keep this to one side for a moment while we decide. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my gesso and gesso over like the entire thing. And I'm using the clear gesso, and I know that, you know, I've talked about this before, but because this is that buff coloured, um, you know, paper in this um, art journal, you know, I like to use the clear because I like to keep the, the rough look of that buff coloured background because you know I actually really like that so let's just go in with that around the edges oh I'm so sorry if you can hear all that noise I really apologize we have got some roadworks going on outside and yeah the traffic when it gets backed up it's just then um you know backed up kind of outside our house and it's obviously you know really noisy so I do apologize for that Right, okay, so that's that. Now, oops. Let's just get rid of the gesso to one side. Now, what else I've got here, and this I've had for a really long time, is I've got this, um, I think these are masks. Yes, masks. So unlike a stencil where you're kind of like getting the clock, if you see what I mean, you know, the stencil would be filled in and the pattern would be the clock. This is the reverse of that. So this is, the clock is the filled in part and the background is the non-filled in part. I don't know whether that's really making sense, but if I just kind of show you. <clears throat> so here, for example, you know, if you put this down and you used your gesso with this, instead of stenciling a clock onto your design, what you're doing is you're actually stenciling the surrounding area to the clock. Hope that makes sense. It didn't even make sense to my ears, so yeah, <laughs> no idea whether it made sense. Um, but yeah, that's what we're basically going to do is kind of like get the background of the clock because you know I don't really use these masks and I've had them for years and years, so I wouldn't mind just having you know having a bit of a play really because otherwise it's just, you know, a complete and utter waste of having it. So I haven't used it for a long time. I don't know really whether this will even work, but let's just have a play. And I don't have to get the entire clock in. You know, we might decide to actually just put some, some in the background. So, you know, I might kind of think, oh, this, this is enough. I don't know how this will look. Because, like I say, it's such a long time since I've used this. I went through a phase, I think, where these masks were quite popular. And um, I had a friend, she was very into the masks. And, yeah, I never really kind of got into them. But she was much more into mixed media than I was. And uh, I'm kind of late to the party. But, yeah, I don't really know whether they ever caught on that much, to be honest. I don't feel like I saw them a great deal. And I don't feel like I've seen anyone much using them. So I might be just, you know, doing something that's really not very popular. But let's have a look. Right, I'm just going to lift this and see. Okay, so can you see that? I mean, it was very difficult to describe. I, I found it very difficult to describe. But yeah, what you've got 
is the reverse of a stencil. So whereas a stencil, like I say, you would have the clock stenciled into your design in your background. This actually you have the, you know, the outer edges of, you know, of the clock. So the clock is actually the empty part. The filled in section is, you know, the area surrounding the clock. So I'm just going to give this a wipe here. Just wipe this down. Okay. Give those, hopefully I keep it clean for next time, or cleanish at least for next time. Okay. Let's pop that away for another day. Come on. I'm trying to hang that up behind me. Struggling to do that. So, yep, I might have to do that later. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so then what I've got is a whole bunch of these different butterflies. So we've used these in some other things already. But I would quite like to do... Now, my... Well, my original thoughts were to do, you know, like... Um, well, in a museum, I guess, where you get the art of the butterflies. And actually, I can just show you on the Taperology website. Oops, let me just put it back up. Oh, gosh. Sorry, clicking on all the wrong apps here. So, right, on the Taperology website, where we've got the butterflies. Oh, can't show them. Hold on. Like this. Okay, I can't now get it to kind of fit on the screen, but it's in one of those, um, like the box frames. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, right, let me try again. It's in one of the box frames. Let me try like this, maybe you can see better. It's in like a box frame and it's got all those butterflies. So, I mean, yeah, in, um, oh, what are the butterfly places called? you know, in a butterfly house, basically, <laughs> they have those, those frames, basically, containing all the different butterflies. And I was originally thinking I'd like to do something like that. Now, I have to say, my piece has probably gone off at a tangent already. So I'm probably not going to achieve that at all. But definitely, it's going to be loosely inspired by that kind of idea. So I'm going to just quickly dry this dry this mask off okay Well, today is flying by. You have those days sometimes, you know, where the time, just every time you look at the clock, it's gone by another five minutes. It's one of them days today. I hate those days because, you know, there's just not enough time to do all the things that you need to do. But yeah, that's going to be today. Right. So, now these, obviously these are stickers, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to leave them on their backing um, and just glue them down so hopefully they've got like a bit of a flapping wings type situation going on but not going to then glue them down if you see what I mean now this is not really looking anything like one of those box frames is it I mean I'm assuming that those box frames you know you'd have to kind of really have a lot of the butterflies wouldn't you to achieve that look which of course now my stingy side is now kicking in and going oh that's going to be a lot of butterflies that I will have used. So I'm not sure I can quite bring myself to do that. So I might have to have a rethink just purely on a stinginess basis. So, yeah, let's move these out of the way. So let's get some colour going on in the background as well. So what I've got here is I've got some browns and, you know, some nice kind of earthy tones. So I've got this brown. I've got some oh, latte and then this kind of brown. Um, burnt, burnt sienna. I thought I'd bought along a metallic one, but I can't now see that, so perhaps I didn't. Perhaps I didn't. 
I must have not bought the metallic one along, which is a shame because I would have quite liked that. So all I'm going to do is just put some of these down. I've just put them onto my palette section of my craft mat so, so that I can just dip in. Now, I quite like to apply paint with my wipe. Again, you know, I'm not sure that that's necessarily what most people use, but yeah, I always find that a wipe works quite well. So I'm just going to like dip in, dip into my wipe and just, you know, go around a little bit on the edges like that. Okay, and then just going to sort of fade that out a bit. Oh, that gesso is not dry, so that's not working great. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Let's just go with some of that ivoryish colour. The latte, not ivory, the latte. <clears throat> okay. Okay, don't keep right. Oh, loving that background. How gorgeous and yummy does that background look? Really lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, love how that looks. Okay, right. Very, very nice colours. Yeah, love that. Right, let's just clean this off before I dip things in there. Because, yeah, that's always a strong possibility with me. Okay, so yeah, love how that looks. Now, do we want to have anything else? wondering whether we've got any other bits that I have received in the taperology bits that we could use. <clears throat> I have got those, um, these notepaddy bits. So let's just take some of those. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe one or two of these would look quite good. Oh, that one's nice, isn't it? And then maybe one of the sort of mason jar pieces. Or maybe, maybe together like that. Okay. Or maybe this one will look better. Probably only want two. I don't think I want to have three. So yeah, maybe something like that. I'm just going to quickly those away <clears throat> away out the way right again do I want to ink this yes I think I probably do so I'm just going to ink these up so these look a bit more you know a bit more grungy and vintage oops let me find my blendy tool oh, where do I put that mm. no no, no, no. Where is my sponge? Where is my blendy bit? Ah, oh, here we go. Right. So just so they look a little bit more, you know, vintage and grungy. So like that. Okay. So that's just... Go in with that one. Okay, <clears throat> okay. And then this one. down there okay looking good right then what do we want then put that out the way um kind of thinking some sort of words or sentiments or something like that would look quite good uh Some of my labels here in quite big size so they might be quite good maybe this header type piece so let me just take this down ok 
Okay. Okay, right. Oh, I love how that looks in the background. Doesn't that look really gorgeous? Yeah, love that. Right, let's just pop this one down. Okay. Yeah, love that. Let's just pop that one down. Okie dokie, then... Um, right now I'm torn between do I keep this kind of well, not colorless but you know like say the blues or do I want to go like crazy and have all different colors on here um my first instincts were obviously to just go with blues but yeah now I'm thinking oh perhaps I would prefer to have some other colors but then I think it might just look really like a big mess I'm thinking maybe just keep it to the blues. Mm. Yeah, maybe just keep it to the blues. What do we think? I mean, that one's kind of, kind of quite cool because it's like a half blue and half, you know, half brownie colour. Um, hmm. One. maybe like that what do we think to that I quite like the look of all of those bits now wondering what I've got I'd yeah I'd quite like a big word or something I think um oh do you know I'm thinking actually why don't I get my letter my letter stickers because I'm always trying to use them up anyway so that would be a really fantastic way to use them also, oh, is this brown? Yeah, thinking, shall we do some brown shading around those butterflies? Yeah, so I'm going to just go and get some letter stickers. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back. And I do apologise, it's gone really dark. It's now pouring with rain. I've only literally, like, you know, gone and got the uh, stickers and come back. So I've not been gone for ages. But yeah, it's gone really dark now. So I do apologise for that. Now, whilst I was up, I just grabbed a stamp because I thought, actually, I'd quite like to stamp a little stamp in the background. Oh, we're now going to have a thunderstorm. So I'll probably have to get up and shut the window in a minute because it will be so noisy. Okay. Right. Well, that stamp doesn't really show up brilliantly on there, but never mind. It all adds a little bit, doesn't it? So, yeah, even if it's not brilliant, it probably adds a little bit of something. So I think I had that one there and that one there. Right, let's have a look. Now the letter stamps, uh, stickers that I got, they're these ones, which I don't know whether this is going to be quite right, but thinking something like spread your wings. Now these might be going to be too big. Oh, and look at it. I'm not going to have any of the letters that I actually need. So, so far I have an E. <laughs> oh no, I haven't even got an E. Look, I've just got the filled in section. Um, right, okay, this is not going to go well, is it? Yeah, okay, so, so far I have none, none of the letters that I actually need. Oh, here we go, we've got an S, so. Oh, come on, spread your wings, so. S. Mm, no, got a U, got a no. Y, another row, oops, I, mm. it's not a G, is it? No, no, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's two, a two upside down. Um, got a G. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? Oh. This is typical. Right, and I've also got these ones, so I'm hoping that these may have some of the missing letters that we need. So, mm. right. Plus, they're massive, aren't they? 
Um, what about if we just have something like saw? Oh, and again, I can't see any S whatsoever. So whichever sentiment I go for, it needs an S. And whichever one, it doesn't. Oh, yes, we've got an S. So if we have saw, S, O. It's really gone black, hasn't it, sweetheart? Don't you think? What's going on? What is going on with the weather? Oh, that's a cool picture, isn't it? Yes, darling. Come. Come on. That is very cool. What's what's that across her face? Why has she got that red it's blush. spot? It's blusher. Blush. Oh, it's very interesting. I love her eye there and the way her hair is covering up her eye. Very clever. Mm -hmm. What a lovely picture. Look, she's got, she's got a fake nail. She's got fake nails. Oh. Oh, they're like talons. Show them just so it kind of... Yeah, very long nails, okay. hasn't she? It's very nice, isn't it? Very nice. It's got red boots. Red boots. Some people think that's like her head, but this is like a headband. Oh, that's a headband. Nice. I like how you've done her hair. That looks really effective. I can't draw people's hair at all. You know, even if I could pull off the face, I can't then draw the hair and make it look good. So you're pretty good at doing the hair, I must say. Aren't you? Right, now, let's try and ink this up a bit so look, that, that this is hopefully going to stand out a bit more. That was supposed to be you, but oh, I thank made you. Her eyes blue. Like that. Close. Are you sure? Or are you just pretending that that was actually meant to be me? It's close to me. Mm-hmm. And, and her hair looks like yours. Just okay. going around the edge of these letters with a bit of black stays on just to try and make them sort of stand out a bit. Like that. Oh, we're now having thunder. Can you hear that? Oh, no. Do you want to shut the um, window for me, darling, please? Thank you. So the window's on the stairs, which is out on the landing, just literally over from where I am. So, you know, we're just going to shut the window because otherwise it might be a bit noisy. Um, if the, you know if it's about to thunder which it sounds like it is okay right we've got this now what I'm thinking is I'm going to use some of my little Brian paint stick in the background here so I just want to check that this gesso is properly dry before I start mucking about putting gold down and trying to spread it so it's still a bit tacky would you believe but hmm. let me just quickly dry it again hope I don't fan my butterflies around <clears throat> Too much. Like yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? I've been doing a lot of wax seals, and my daughter's saying she likes the wax seals that I've done. I so, like um, yeah. They're, they're fun to do, aren't they? Right. Okay, so that's a bit better. Let's put down. Now, I have also got some brown metallic paint sticks, so we could kind of maybe mix the two. Let's try the gold. Oh, quite liking that patchy look. What do you think, darling? Can you see the gold there? Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? It's, um, normally I would kind of rub the paint stick in a bit more, but actually quite liking the effect on this page because it looks quite, um, what's the word? You know, rough and rustic looking, which of course the clock does as well. So I'm just going to use some of the brown. Maybe like around here a bit. Like that. Okay. And it matches your, your um, makeup skin colour. Does it? The foundation. Mm -mm. It matches the colour of your foundation. You make like a skin colour the black seal. Like yeah. Like a pre-humage colour. Right, let's just blend that in a bit. Okay, so that's quite nice, isn't it? Right, okay. It's going to have the word sore. So let's just glue that one down. Sore? Do you mean like something sore? Soaring. Soaring through the sky. Um, that's a bit weird. Is it? Why don't you say soaring? Well, why do 
we want to just say the typical obvious thing. Why don't Ooh, we say some other I things? And then the A. And the R. Yeah, I really apologise for how dark it is now. It's just literally just gone so, so dark. Although, it, I mean, it does feel like it needs to thunder and have a good clear because, um, yeah, it's been so muggy. <clears throat> so hopefully this is going to actually clear it and it will be better. These are the five that I picked out with my eyes, like, really close. And they're really pretty. They are really pretty. Ooh. Well, here we go. Here's the thunderstorm. Right. My favourite one is probably this one. Okay, right, let's pop some of these down. So I'm just going to glue these down through the middle, but with their wings flapping. Now, bearing in mind, these are stickers. So I am gluing them on the sticker backing, if you see what I mean. You know, I haven't stuck them on as stickers. They are still, you know, they've still got the sticker backing on them. Now, this one, I'm thinking that I might need to just ink around the edge because it seems like it's got more edge than natural butterfly where it's quite a small small butterfly so that one's so pretty there isn't it okay let's pop that one in okay then this one love this one down here I must say so yeah let's have that one down there <clears throat> okay is this your favourite colour? yeah and then this one what can I have here does everybody you know your favourite colour is pink? I mean green green yeah, yeah. my favourite colour is pink Mm. Got mixed up with my favorite Yeah, you did. Wait, nobody, you did. Nobody knows my favourite colour is pink, do they? No. <clears throat> right. Yeah, they do. Oh, this is my favourite one, actually. Hmm, nice. Uh, oh, I don't know now. Not thunder yet, Mum. No, not thunder just yet. But I suspect it's coming. Right, what do we think to that? I couldn't quite decide where to put that other butterfly. Um, you know, maybe because that was then going to go to six, which obviously is that uneven, uh, that even number. And, um, you know, the uneven numbers work better. So I'm just going to now just scribble in with some of my uh, watercolour pencil. Now, normally I would use bra uh, black for this. I'm just going to see what this is going to be like using the brown. going in around the butterflies with the brown so let's just do that it's not really going to show up where it is over there at all but yeah let's just try over here and then down here as well okay right now I'm going to just get some, I was going to say paintbrush, but do I want to use the paintbrush or do I want to use a wipe? Hmm. Not sure, not sure, not sure. So let's put some of this down. Now this is just, um, you know, coffee dyed, coffee dye, water. So I'm thinking this would be quite good. 
instead of plain water because hopefully it's going to keep with that brownie kind of theme going so let's just go down like that and this one and over here And a bit round here as well. Okay. I wonder what would happen if we just do some splotches. I am going to do some splotches afterwards, but I just thought let's just put some of these brown ones on as well. Okay, right, get rid of that. Quite liking how that white looks, you know, in the middle. I think that's quite almost like refreshing, you know, compared to the rest of the page. So, yeah, quite nice. Now, I've got some of this, um, you know, copper colour kind of gel pen. So, I'm thinking we might be able to have that somewhere. Not sure where. Not sure where and not sure... <laughs> You know in what form I should do this let's just have a bit of a look um, oh, I don't know wonder if we could do I'm not brilliant with the whole um, drawing it's got to be said I wish that I was um, better with kind of drawing and things so yeah it's a bit of a shame um, I'm just gonna have a look at this just see whether there's anything else that we could be adding. That I could then, you know, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Just try that somewhere. What does that say? Something or other for you. this in half <clears throat> um, yeah that's quite nice there to be honest almost because it's standing out a little bit so I think that's quite quite nice let's just glue this one down that and then really do need to print some of my words off because that would be just what I'm needing I think is a few black words I think would be good so what have we got here journal ponder what does that say believe believe Ponder journal. Okay, so I'm going to just pop these down. Wow, can you hear that thunder now? It's just literally just starting. Okay. That one. Just gonna put journal down there actually. And then ponder. Hmm. Mommy? Yes, darling. Did you hear that? Yeah, did you? Yeah. It's exciting, wasn't it? Darling, you're just blocking the only bit of light that's coming in the room, sweetie. So come and stand this side. <clears throat> okay. Um... Likes it. Oh, that's quite nice over there to the side. So I'm just going to tear that down slightly so as it fits on a bit better. Mind out, sweetie. Don't go knocking things off the desk. Has anybody 
I'm seeing candy. Not waiting. He's way low. Okay. Let's pop that down here. Let's just put this over here. She loves you. Oh, thank you, darling. So you can show her if you like, because otherwise people will wonder what it is you're poking into my face. So, yeah. It's mm. a squishmallow. Right, okay then. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to put just a little bit of this copper colour around here. And just a bit here, I think. I don't know whether I would be able to draw on these butterflies. Shall I try one that's not glued down? Because I don't want to kind of like do anything that's going to then spoil my layout. So let me just have a look. I'm just going to pull one in. Let me try and pull one in that I don't, you know. Not my favourite one kind of thing. So, so that if I spoil it, it doesn't matter too much. Oops. Okay. Okay, so let's use this one. Just gonna kind of draw on the Yeah, I think that is sticking on there, you know. So maybe. Maybe we could just have a bit of now obviously it would have been probably better had I glued this afterwards and done my lines first, but let's do my body of my butterfly there. Okay. And then should we do a bit up here as well? So we've just got a bit more, a bit more of that. Okay, let's just put these away. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so I think a bit on this one, if I can. So let's just. Let's just draw a bit in here. Oh, I've done that same thing that I did on that layout before, you know, where I made it look like that weird horror film flower. I've done it a bit there as well. So I think probably I should leave the pen. I don't think I'm a pen person, <laughs> you know, unless it's like something so basic that I just can't go wrong. I should probably not, not use pens, really. So, yeah, I mean, I think that layout looks pretty anyway. And, yeah, quite happy with it. Now, I've also got this. Now, I saw Marry Me Small Art, Marta over at Marry Me Small Art, use this Windsor & Newton ink, and it's white ink. Haven't ever tried using it myself, but I'm going to try it for the splatters because that's what she often uses. So, I'm fingers crossed hoping this is going to be really brilliant for splatters. So, let's have a look. Now I've got my big splayed brush, so I've received two of these in Happy Mouse. So thank you so much to the lovely Marianne and also the lovely Heather. Really appreciate you sending me these brushes. Now, how am I going to get this ink out, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, great difficulty, but never mind. Right, okay. Oh, I love how that looks. So, yeah, definitely liking this ink. I 
think that's probably enough because otherwise it could go completely too crazy with those splatters. So yeah, probably best that I rein it in right there. I'm just cleaning my brush off with my wipe. Let's hope that that's going to be sufficient. I might go and wash it in the sink in a minute just to make definitely sure that it's clean. So yeah, that's my final layout. So my layout using obviously those lovely items from the Taperology, um, you know, box that I did. And yeah, I really hope that you like it. I think it's, you know, a little bit different um, to other layouts that we've done. Hopefully you guys will, you know, will think it's quite nice and quite different as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, um, you know, if you want to check out any of my Taperology items, um you know then hopefully the links will all be below and if they're not please do nudge me and i can obviously put them down but yeah i really hope that you like the layout i'm just going to give you a bit of a kind of glance in slow time so that you can kind of see it up close like that okay and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow Thanks then. Bye.